Uganda, once known as the Pearl of Africa. But beginning in the 1960s, bitter civil wars and growing populations ravaged the people and wildlife of this once verdant paradise. Then, in the mid-1980s, a young journalist named Indikira Natamohira Amuti began reporting on the critical state of Uganda's environment. My career now spans over 15 years as a journalist. But uh, I began reporting systematically on environment about eight years ago. Just coming out from the general reporter to a reporter on a specific item. In a series of feature stories, Amudi combated the public's ignorance and indifference to environmental issues challenging his readers to understand the importance of natural resources to Uganda's future. Environment issues are very important to a country like Uganda because 90% of its economy is agriculture. And if the environment, which is the basis for agriculture, it goes, certainly there will be going to be a problem. And I don't, I don't see, I don't visualize industrialization too soon to absorb the current population. And, uh, I believe even the areas gazetted off, like the, the national parks, the game reserves, could be a source of income to our people in terms of tourism. Amudi's reports on massive encroachment on the game corridors of the Kibali Forest and his exposés of the role of corrupt officials in the granting of leases to reserved lands again prompted immediate action. About 50 years ago, uh, the whole three quarters of Uganda was elephant land, and uh, which means that they were everywhere almost in Uganda. But as time went on with increased population and settlement, the, the habitants were shrinking and shrinking until they are in a few patches of forest in this country. But uh, the fate of the elephants was far much uh, bitter during uh, the regime of Idi Amin, whereby there was official poaching. You know, but thereafter, we have seen a recovery of elephants in some places. From helping to save the rare mountain gorilla to mounting a sting operation to stop the illegal exportation of endangered species, Amudi has had an immense impact in preserving the rich natural heritage of East Africa. I've got a voice. I've got the media. And I put issues to the people. I raise questions to the society, to government, anybody concerned. And I think the message should be digested, I mean, it should be interpreted. When we're saying these animals are suffering, when we're saying they should be, have a better place, when we're saying they should be in, you know, we should fight illegal, uh, illegal trafficking, when we should, should, should fight poaching. I think I've educated, I have educated people, I've raised awareness and raised concern. For outstanding environmental achievement in Africa, a 1996 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Indikira Natamohira Amuti of Kampala, Uganda.